Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a neon lights effect in Camtasia. All right, so I'm here in Camtasia, and as usual, my ideas come from thinking of new ideas for Arit's music videos. And one of the music videos is going to have like a 90s theme to it. And I wanted to do like a neon lights type of thing because that those kinds of things were big back then. So I was playing around in Camtasia and I figured out how to do a neon lights effect that I wanted to share with you. So this is what it looks like. Now it looks pretty cool. It looks like the the font is like lights going on and off and I'm going to show you guys how to do this. First thing is that you need to make sure that you have a neon lights type font. And they there's a certain type of lettering that was that is done with neon lights, so you need to make sure that you have one of those kind of fonts and you need to install it. If you don't know how to do that, I will have a link down in the description below as to how to download free commercial use fonts, um, neon lights fonts that you can use in your video. The video shows you how to download any kind of font, but basically in the search of the website when you're trying to find fonts, you would just type in neon lights fonts and then download the one that you want, install it, and then you can continue on with the tutorial. You can also try this out with any other font. So let me show it to you again. So this is what it looks like. So it looks like it's like an actual plugged in neon light going on and off. And what's even cooler is you can probably add like an audio to that to give it an, an another effect, an add on effect, and that'll make it even look even cooler. So first thing is to go to the text area and we'll just grab a font like this and drag it down. Now this is like the standard one. So I want it to say my name. And now I want to choose the font, the neon type font, neon lights font. So I'm just going to scroll down here and it's called neon, I believe. Yeah, neon. And then there it is. So it kind of looks like that. And then I'm going to enlarge this to make it bigger. And then you also want to choose neon type colors because if you choose a color that isn't neon looking, it's not going to give it that effect. So if you choose something like a dark gray or something like that, it's not going to look good. Typically these are very bright colors, so that's why I showed you the yellow. Um, let's do like maybe a blue or something. The example here was yellow. So let me do maybe like, I'll do this pink one here. So here's a very vibrant hot pink. Okay, now we've changed the color. Now we want to add a shadow or a glow to it. So up at the top here, you want to head over to visual properties and you scroll all the way down and it has a, a drop shadow that's actually going to be your neon glow. So first thing is you want to head over here. It's already set to the standard like dark gray, but I want to click on that. Click on the dropper because we want to take a sample of that and we want to go over here to the actual uh, color pink and click on it because we want the exact one. So now it's going to change from the dark gray to the pink and then I'm going to play around with the angle of the drop shadow which is your glow. Now you can put this to wherever you want and you can even get more precise with an angling moving it here but I'll just move it to let's say here and then I'm going to play around with these features. So this is going to bring out that shadow and glow. So I'm going to just pull it out here and you can start to see it's starting to pop out. And I'll do it like this. You can play around with it however you'd like. Or you can move it over here. Like 
that. Now, if you want even more of an effect, you can technically copy it, paste it, put it below, and now I'm on the second one that's below, so I'll move the shadow to, let's say, here, or below, and you can give it even more, because if I remove it, then it only has it off to the side, right? Because I chose the angle of the shadow to the side, but this angle right here is down below. So some colors work better, better than others. As you can see, the, the yellow one works really well. And the angle of the shadow that I had on the yellow was down at an angle below. So let's go back here and we'll choose down below. We'll just get rid of that. If you wanted to play around you could duplicate things and make things even crazier. So now we have it as is like this. It's looking like a cool neon thing and you can change the color if you want. Play around with this even more if you want this to go even further or closer. I like to keep it a little bit close so it looks like it's like coming off of the actual letter so it's like it's an actual glow. And then you can play with, with this if you want it lighter or darker. And then the blur if you want it even more blurry. But I'm gonna keep it like that. I'm gonna bring it more in just a little bit more. Oops. And then, okay, so now we want to add a behavior to make it look like it's glowing, like it's an actual animation of glow. You don't need to add this if you don't want to, but I just thought this was like a nice little touch. So I'm going to go over to behaviors and I'm going to go to fade and I'm going to drag it down. Now when you first do it, it's just going to go like that, but you want to add another feature which happens during the fade. So I need to go to during and right now it's set to none and I need to go to fading because I, I, I need it to fade to show that it's sort of like glowing in and out. So I'm going to click play here and you can see that it's sort of going in and out. Now you can play with that animation and you can make the fading go faster if you want. Right, it's happening faster now. But pretty much you can just play around with all of these features to tweak it how you like. I liked it the way I did here on the neon lights. I thought that looked pretty cool. And it actually does look like neon lights. So that is how you do the neon lights effect in Camtasia. Like I said, in order for this to work properly, you need to make sure that you have a neon lights type font. So make sure that you download a free font that you can use for commercial or personal use from those free websites, install it so that you can have it on Camtasia, choose a color that is a neon like color, add the glow, and that's how you get the effect. And like I said, if you don't know how to download and install fonts, head down to the description below as I will have that video for you guys. So if I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back, back, back from the dead.